YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture, and I don't know what day this is. It's Wednesday, but it feels like a Tuesday because of the holiday. It's not cute not knowing. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture, and we start off with a hug. Come on. I got to give a shout out to the woman. My, I was at a, a medical facility yesterday. My, my sister is is not doing well. And I went and the, and the woman at the reception I should have got her name and she says we start off with a hug. And I just bust out laughing. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for for watching and taking care of my sister. It's not cute not knowing and now we're going to know when the walls are closing in on Puffy. Or did he? Rolling Stone magazine. If you're looking for a great read I want you to go to rollingstone.com. They did an expose on Buffy. Some things we knew, heard, read about, but then there were some things that we didn't know about all of this. It was interesting their breakdown because I think at the end of the day, when you look at a Diddy, a figure like that, you know, one of the most powerful forces in, in music, he wants to be loved and accepted. He, he's he got this acceptance thing. He went on this whole thing about brother love like a couple years ago, and he was giving their artists back their rights. Um, he gave this HBCU a million dollars. He gave this one a bunch of money. But it was all a facade. Because underneath that exterior of this music vocal was a very violent man who not only abused men, he abused women as well. He wants, he wants that acceptance. And I'm going to tell you something. Public shunning. Public shunning. Could be worse for him than jail time because he wants that you know, he's attention seeking and he he's doing that dance and he wants everybody saying and at one time, he hit everybody in the palm of his hands. But now with these accusations and everything hitting the fan, no, 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 no. They're all backpedaling away. you got to read this article and let me know. Rollingstone.com is the magazine. Some things we knew, like, I think it was very jealous of Biggie. And he had told Biggie. I'd rather die than give you your rights to your music. So even back then, he wanted to hold things over people. An indictment is coming for their planning to have his accusers. And there's a lot because there's a new one every day. They're going to bring them before a grand jury. He's going to be indicted. That is coming. I don't think he can dance his way out of that. But I think about R. Kelly, 2008, and he was acquitted that first time. But then surviving R. Kelly came on Lifetime and everything just, and it was done for him. The same could happen for him. The feds are working and they're being quiet. You, you know how it is. You'll never show your hand and let people know what you're doing. But an indictment is eminent, y'all, because they're bringing his accusers before a grand jury. So there will be an end to this and an indictment is coming. But rollingstone.com, it's a long read. <laughs> it's a long read. It took me a little minute. I would I would I would read, then I would go back to doing something, then go back and read again. But it's very compelling. And I want to know what you think. Mel B, former Spice Girl, one of Eddie Murphy's baby mamas. She's being sued by her ex-husband. He claims that Mel B defamed him when she accused him of abuse during their marriage. He is suing her for $5 million. Yesterday, I brought up Mike Tyson, and many of you were like, well, why do you feel that, you know, he shouldn't do this fight? It's been 19 years since Mike Tyson fought. He's 57. Jake Paul is 27. When is the fight? July 20th on Netflix. Over the weekend, Mike Tyson had a medical emergency. A medical, he has problems with his ulcers. He was nauseous. 
He was dizzy. It was hot in Miami. He had to go from Miami to L.A. He's complained of sciatica pain. You know, the pain, it's that nerve from your lower back and it goes down your leg. It could be de debilitating. Ugh, you don't want no sciatica pain. He's talked about being sore. We've seen him in a wheelchair that could be from the sciatica pain. I, 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 I don't know. I just got this feeling about this fight. And then in 2020, he was on somebody's podcast talking about, I know I won't live long. I wish he wouldn't do it. I know it's a money grab. Netflix going to make money. Jake Paul going to make money. Mike Tyson going to make more money. But why ruin your reputation? That has uh, its troubles in it to do this fight. But I just don't think that he's that he's well enough. Maybe he'll fool us all. Kerry Washington's going to be the latest star of Knives Out. Knives Out is a murder mystery that airs on Netflix with Daniel Craig. This will be the third installment. If you love who did, those whodunits, who did it, you're going to love this. Daniel Craig, Kerry Washington, they'll be naming more stars. Snoop Dogg's wife. We never really hear about Mrs. Broadus, but now we are. Because she's going to be opening up a strip club in Los Angeles. <laughs> yes, a strip club in Los Angeles. Snoop Dogg's wife. Um, she's calling it the Players Club. But this is going to be her latest business venture. And Cindy Lauper, the pop star. Girls just want to have fun. She's going through a lot of stuff with her son. He's 26 years old. First it was theft. Then it was gun possession. Now it's sexual assault that her son is being accused of. So she's really going through that time. He is 26 years old and hopefully he can get help because these charges that are being leveled at him are very serious. Leave your comments. A lot of you all told me how excited you are about the summer movies that are coming out from Bad Boys 4 the Beverly Hills Cop, the Brandy in The Descendant. So there's a lot of good movies coming down the pike. Last weekend, interestingly enough, the box office was not what they thought it was going to be. And I think it's the effect of the actor strike. Now we're going to start as we go into the summer months and more movies. I have not felt compelled to go to the movies. And I saw Bad Boys 4 on a screening. But I have not felt compelled to go to the movies. And I'm like, are the really good movies going to be like coming out that make you say, I'm going to the movies. It'll be interesting to see. Subscribe to the channel. Then you never, ever, ever, ever miss anything. When that notification bell comes on, you know what it means. It means that I'm here. Leave a comment. Auntie reads the comments. I'm curious as to what you know, what you want to talk about. And give us a thumbs up if you like the video. It's not cute, not knowing, is what I love to say. Thanks for joining me. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.